all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are solo leveling arise will be the topic more precisely we're gonna talk about my own mistakes that i've done as a low spender in this game roughly 250 dollars i spent in this game and there are certain mistakes that i've done overall in this game um so hopefully you're gonna be able to learn from me and you're gonna know more about soul leveling arise after watching this video okay leave a like subscribe guy please subscribe guys please uh leave a comment it will help me a ton i'm on, on a road to 50k so let's get it please subscribe okay so let we start my biggest mistakes that i've done in solo leveling arise okay so first things first let me go here into the game mode. This is my little mistake that I've done overall as a low spender. So here in the gates, I sometimes rushed it overall and I used a lot of sweeping with the actual essence a little bit more that i should have this is also one of the mistakes that i've done as a low spender but i wanted a little bit faster progress so i can showcase more things etc uh so yeah i used a little bit too much essence for this type of sweeping especially when you can do it on auto pretty much so yeah just wanted to mention that mistake again not because of the deal it was my own choice but definitely try not to sweep too much with the essence like it's the best not to use at all your essence for the sweeping you can use uh, regular sweeping and with point sweeping why not okay you can sweep but don't sweep with uh, essence okay this is something that i've done i know for a fact it's a mistake but i've still done it <laughs> okay then we go to the mining part this is also really important guys overall uh, always focus on the highest rarity mining let me say it like this highest rank mining so for example let me okay s rank i, I want to mine that okay this is b a rank i want to mine that here i'm getting the best rewards let me go oh i have more s so first prioritize that highest ranking um mining okay like this you're gonna maximize the amount of essence you're getting and the low tier mana crystals overall so this is one of the things you should definitely pay attention okay okay the second mistake that i've done is related to the army of shadows okay let me explain here everything now okay load come on okay here we are so army of shadows uh, the mistake that I've done is choosing Blades. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, Blades is extremely helpful. He's boosting that attack increase, extremely helpful for Sung and many other teammates. So this is not the biggest, this is not like huge mistake that I've done, but definitely in my case, since I have Emma, literally with three duplicates, the best character for me in the game currently, she would benefit the most from this okay from iron he is increasing max hp and emma is going insane and she's working from the max hp more xp X, F, more max hp you have bigger damage overall she's gonna do okay have that in mind so overall related to the army of shadows choose what is the most helpful for you choose for your best character i would say okay so for example emma would get that max hp increase with iron and that would be the best for me overall plus i can i have min right Nim min I, always, I cannot remember his name but i believe it's min he also can uh, can prosper with max hp for example okay so this is the logic you should think about related to the army of shadows like whatever you unlock it's pretty good literally you cannot make a mistake but you should definitely think about which characters will prosper the most from unlocking shadows so in my case like i said iron would be the best choice but blades as well not bad at all my account is more uh, about attack uh, crits uh, max hp not so much about the defense that's why for me even though he can stun even though he can stun uh, he was not the best choice for me at that moment now i will see what i will unlock next because at the end of the day he can stun and he can decrease defense um okay with that max hp increase so i'll have to think about that but if i want my ammo to go completely insane iron is the way to go but at the end of the day that's a little mistake that i've done because i'm still 
really happy that I choose blades that increase attack can be extremely, extremely helpful overall. Okay, let me increase that a little bit shadow. Okay. So that's about the shuttles. Be careful. Literally, it really depends what character you have and which character are you using. So just think about that. What, what unlocking certain shuttles will do overall to your account. Okay. So uh, that's about that part. Now we go to the artifacts. This is where I've done uh, biggest mistakes, I would say, overall. Uh, first of all, I've done the mistake in the beginning of the game where I was increasing attack, uh, cooldown, critical hit, precision. I, I, was, I was increasing pretty much everything at the same time. Don't do that. Of course, I already made a guide rel related to the assigned stat points for the Sung. And overall, the biggest deal is pre precision. I already explained why. Uh, because when you increase the precision your minimum damage dealt to enemies increases. So overall here you're getting the biggest boost of the damage at the end of the day. So overall I recommend here going to about 80 to 90% of precision and then everything else to attack and additional MP cooldown reduction. Mainly for now I, I, I've done all attack and precision but I also test few things and it works really well when you actually lower a little bit attack and add additional MP cooldown reduction. But okay furthermore testings is needed to be like 1 million percent sure but guys please work on your precision and attack that's like the two main stats you want to work on overall and then as you go you can test out other things to level up and see how song will act here you can see like precision 87.9 go to roughly about 80 percent plus 80 to 90 and then go everything in, in attack because the critical hit rate damage you can get that from artifacts and many other things okay have that in mind so precision and attack are the most important things right here related to the artifacts okay so yesterday i made a guide about the artifacts and i've done certain mistakes that i definitely want to point out now because i believe it will be extremely helpful like for example using this uh, blue necklaces setup for the song it's not the best deal what i've done right because uh, I, I don't know how I didn't notice that, but it real at the end of the day, I'm still getting stats here, guys. I'm still getting stats, defense, attack, additional attack. Uh, them, uh, da, 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 for example, I'm still getting critical hit damage. I'm still getting something, something from this, but the complete set is wrong. When tagging out increases the attack of you and your team members by 12%. So Sunk is not tagging out, right? So this was one of my biggest mistakes that I've done. I built it up. I built up the set for Sunk that actually doesn't work for him pretty much okay so be careful when you're creating the artifacts be careful on the sets be careful on the um, stats and the sets overall will that be effective for your character have that in mind so for example here i i will I'm, I'm working on it i will change it but for example the best thing for song for example would be like beast necklaces for example when landing a critical hit has 25 percent chance to increase attack by 0 0.8 that's really really good if i can get that set completely which i can um or when attacking enemies with 40 percent or less hp increased damage dealt so you should be more focused on increasing the damage from sunk and that's pretty much it also red necklaces rings and all of that it's pretty good increases attack by five percent and then the attack increases effect stack maximum increases to four instances so definitely i need to replace this i need to use other like but i can i have the sets ready to go as you can see the sets are ready so i will replace it today work on it uh furthermore but definitely like this i will use i will lose a bunch of coins that's the problem if if hopefully they fix it please remove that we need to use coins to exchange to yeah to exchange our our artifacts that's like the biggest deal i have with this game you when you level up your artifact you need to use your coins to actually switch them up that's so that's that's terrifying honestly so you cannot afford to make this type of mistake especially as a free to play you will lose a bunch a bunch of coins now related to the left part of the artifacts 
So for example, critical hit rate increased by 8, that's good. Increase the user's attack by 5%, that's pretty good. Always, I, will, I would say in most cases, you want to use two set combinations, for example. Now, on Song, also the four set can work really well, because your critical hit damage increase will, your critical hit damage increase will happen by 32%. So this is, for example, like really, really good. Overall, you want to increase his critical rate, you want to increase his attack, you know, all of that stuff. Really, really important for Sung. Now, I've done more artifacts mistakes. Uh, so let's go here into the Hunter's part. Emma. Um, I made a mistake here. You're gonna see deals damage of HP. Okay, look, seven seven hundred seventy seven percent of the user's max HP. I don't know. I usually always do that. I played so many games that works like this, and I I still made a mistake. It happens. I rushed it. I was like so sure that she needs attack. I was sure she needs attack, but she actually needs max HP to prosper, to go completely nuts. So, as you can see, my artifacts, basic attack damage by 18%. Okay, ultimate skill increase by 25. I would say that's pretty solid with all the stats that I have overall. That's not bad at all. But definitely for her, it would be better that I use this. This. The user's HP increases by 8%. For example, this two set. So, for her, it would be the best that I get. These two sets... The user's HP increases by 8, and then I find another stat that can increase attack, for example. So that would be the best, that I use the attack boost and HP boost for her, okay? So if I do now this change artifact, I can use, for example, this one. Let's equip. Again, you see? That's, the, that's also one of the mistakes I've done. So don't level up your artifacts, which you're... Don't level up your artifacts more than level 4. More than level 4 or 5. Don't do it unless you're certain you're going to use it constantly. Okay? That's the key to save your coins. If you're not sure you have the right artifacts, if you're not sure you're going to actually use it, don't level it too much. Of course, there is an option when you're not using anymore the artifacts, you can exchange them with coins. Have that in mind, okay? So here, for example, I would honestly... Yeah, let me just put now this, for example, okay? That would be really good for her. Now I just need to level up and everything else, okay? Furthermore, so we have now the increase ultimate skill by 25 and the user's hp increases by 8%. That's pretty good. But I can also do this, change this artifact and place this one. Who can give me increase user's attack by 5%. But still I think in my opinion this is fine. Increasing her ultimate by 25% is big deal because she's doing insane damage and as well we are getting that increase hp on her now. Okay, so definitely much better logic than previously. Again, you can also use the same logic for everyone. Go on the skill and check out where they prosper. So, user's attack, user's attack, user's attack, user's, user's attack, user's attack. So for him, I want to build artifacts that will give me the boost in attack. So again, for him as well, the artifacts are not the best, but listen to this, why I've done it like that, because they're legendary artifacts, and from them I'm getting insane buff overall with attack anyways. So you will have to play around, like getting the perfect set for the character and the stats are the most important thing. But if your set isn't perfect, but you have a really good s stats on that, you can definitely use them. Okay, definitely use them, but for example, for him, I should have went for this. Increase the user's attack by 5%, when attacking ignores 50% of target defense and attack. For example, this full set for him would be pretty, pretty god tier, okay? This one, not so much. So, also, a lot of people told me this is one of the best artifacts you can place on your character. Your power gauge acquisition rate increases by 20%. Full set when the start battle charges power gauge by 50% and additionally increases the player and the party's power gauge acquisition rate by 20%. This is actually one of the best artifacts that you can use.
this as well for increased uh, HP. This is for the ultimate. This one not so crazy like I thought initially. This one is for attack and this one is for crit. So you will have to play around. You, will, you, you can see I'm getting super lucky with this artifact. Super lucky. But unfortunately I cannot get that legendary attack boost and everything else so i'm i have a lot of things to do here overall right also one more tip you can see that here in the artifacts uh, when you click here okay yeah here it says what do you want hp critical hit damage healing even increase okay you can also see overall what this character stats what 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 each character needs like literally the game is telling you bro so i missed it it happens it happens at the end of the day that's why i'm happy it's early access so i have plenty of time to work with that okay oh i can even place this bro like this is him him having that full set is actually god tier bro this this actually god tier okay now I just need to level this up, bro. Look at this. My first character... No, so now, for example, I'm fine. I can level up those art artifacts as far as I can because I'll definitely use this set for him. And that's pretty much it, okay? Later on, you can play, play around with stats and see. But pretty much the stats are pretty crazy for him right here. And this is pretty much what I will use constantly for him. Here, I have also really good set for him. Okay, so he is my actually only character that I build up like for one hundred percent. This one, it's we 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 need we need to play around for sure. We need to play around. Okay, this one also we need to go more for like attack increase, not like he won't create that much. Will he even create uh, probably a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Have that in mind. So for him, it's all about the attack. For her, it's all about the HP. Okay. And again, again, increasing the attack is fine, you know, at the end of the day. But always, always work around those things. Look what your characters need, and that's how you build up your artifact. The ones you won't use, like this one, for example. I won't use it like crazy. I shouldn't have leveled up to level 14. But there is one trick. We, with this, we're going to end the video. That's pretty much all mistakes that I've done. The, the biggest ones were with the artifacts, but again, not the biggest deal, honestly. Um... I can always like fix that stuff over time and just build up differently. Still, I'm gaining the stats right here. Even though the set isn't perfect, I will still gain stats. So all of this will still help me to progress easier. You can use this to actually sell your items. So for example, I know for a fact I'm not using this. Let me say it. This, this is like common. I, I don't need it. So you can literally click on this sell and like this you can get your coins back okay that's a really important thing you're gonna use especially me since i level up certain uh, artifacts i leveled up certain artifacts that i won't use so i need to unequip them and then i can sell them like this i will get a bunch of coins back but still um if you do constant exchanges with level up uh, artifacts your coins will completely disappear and Honestly, I still think that's not fair what they're doing with those coins and the artifacts because at the end of the day, I, I believe we should have a freedom to test things out. Like, okay, Sung, let me test out now this artifact, now this. But, but I cannot do that because unfortunately the coins are like super terrible. Okay, so guys, this is like all the mistakes that I've done. I will definitely correct them uh, when I grind a few more different artifacts and then... Uh, I will play around. So guys, that's it. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. I believe I didn't forgot anything. You also have a, mis uh, a video on my channel, don't make these mistakes, etc. So there you have further more mistakes that you should avoid. But I didn't done them. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. Okay, guys, love you. I hope you did enjoy it. Subscribe, roll to 50k and bye.